welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode, Rise of the Electric Archer. EAA Education Center makes ready to impress Oshkosh crowds. CAE announces new eVTOL simulator. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Rise of the Electric Archer. One of the aviation world's most rugged training aircraft is going electric. CAE will partner with Piper to develop an electric-powered variant of Piper's Archer. The conversion of the iconic airplane to electric power will be via a kit for which CAE and Piper intend to obtain an STC. CAE expects to convert two-thirds of its Piper Archer training fleet to electric power and develop a curriculum by which to train future pilots in the dark art of operating such machines. Piper Aircraft President and CEO John Calcagno stated, quote, Piper Aircraft is excited to support CAE's development of an electric aircraft modification conversion kit for the Piper Archer. With 28,000 aircraft in global service, the PA-28 is the ideal platform for real-world flight training curriculums and professional pilot training programs like CAE, end quote. The batteries by which the electric Archer is to be motivated aloft will be provided by Swiss technology concern H-55 the self-same company that powered the Solar Impulse Project, a Swiss initiative that saw the first circumnavigation of the Earth by a solar-slash-electric-powered aircraft. H-55's batteries will power a 150-kilowatt Saffron Engine US-100 smart electric motor, which CAE will incorporate into the STC conversion kit. The motor features a fully integrated controller and a cooling system for thermal management. And after the break, don't miss ANN's Oshkosh coverage. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. We're really looking forward to seeing you live and in person at Oshkosh this year. And to help you celebrate we're having our biggest sale of the year. You can receive 23% off any King Schools course from right now up through August 4th. Just go to our website, kingschools.com, and use the code word AIRSHOW. Folks, as Martha just said, you can save 23% right now on all King Schools courses. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. ANN will rock our Oshkosh coverage next week. ANN staff is already on site in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, prepping for our most expansive coverage yet. Do not miss our dozens of daily stories at aero-news.net, our airborne episodes at youtube.com slash aerotvnetwork, and our morning brief episodes at or around 0900 central each day at airborne-live.net. We're also available on Roku and Fire TV. No other aviation media organization covers Oshkosh the way that we do and have done for over a quarter century. And by the way, we know there's a ton of exciting news in store for Oshkosh 2022. Don't miss it. NTSB to host AirVenture presentations. National Transportation Safety Board investigators and administrators, to include Chairperson Jennifer Homendy and Member Michael Graham, will attend the EAA's AirVenture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin for purpose of meeting the public and staging a series of safety presentations. The presentations with which the NTSB plans to edify the flying public are based on lessons gleaned from recent accident investigations and will examine topics such as in-flight loss of control, aviation weather, flight instruction, managing aeromedical risks, air traffic control communications, and airplane occupant protection systems. Delta pilots without new contract despite airline posting $1.4 billion profit. Delta Airlines reported second quarter 2022 profits of $1.4 billion and stated that it's poised to return to 2019 levels of record profitability. Delta management also posited that neither the difficulties confronting the airline industry nor the overall gloomy world economic forecast were likely to adversely affect the airline's profitability. 
The optimistic sentiment belied the fact that Delta's pilots, represented by the Airline Pilots Association International, are currently still in negotiations for a new employment contract. Pilot executes successful emergency approach, but... A pilot was forced to make an emergency landing on a Missouri interstate after his Piper Cherokee ran out of fuel shortly after departing Warrensburg, Missouri. Arriving police arrested the pilot, 35-year-old John C. Singh of Kansas, upon determining that he was intoxicated and in possession of drugs. Mr. C. Singh was the only person aboard the aircraft. The incident took place on Interstate 70. Flight tracking data indicates the Cherokee, prior to its inauspicious arrival on I-70, had flown from Kansas City to Florida and then back. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. EAA Education Center makes ready to impress Oshkosh crowds. EAA has opened its education center. The new structure, a two-story, 30,000-square-foot addition to the EAA's Aviation Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, is dedicated to the mission of advancing aviation education and training. The $6.2 million project, completely funded via a capital campaign, features an innovative pilot proficiency center, a hands-on youth education center, and a conference center. Subject facilities are adjacent to the museum's Eagle Hangar and allow visitors year-round access to the EAA's considerable resources. The pilot proficiency center affords aviators opportunity to supplement their aeronautical knowledge and hone their flying skills. Principal among the center's attractions are 16 flight simulators. By availing themselves of relevant safety forums and challenging simulator training sessions, general aviation pilots are apt to leave the Pilot Proficiency Center with their confidence and aeronautical decision-making skills improved. The 15,000-square-foot Youth Education Center provides young people, their parents, and their teachers access to interactive and project-based activities that inspire and inform the upcoming generation of aviators. The facility has five hands-on tech labs and four modifiable classrooms. And after these messages, CAE announces new eVTOL simulator. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. CAE announces new eVTOL simulator. CAE has announced the launch of its CAE 700 XMR flight simulator. The immersive high fidelity simulator targets the emergent electric vertical takeoff and landing market and provides cost effective, realistic, and scalable flight training for the pilots of such contraptions. The announcement, which was made at the Farnborough International Air Show, heralds the advent of revolutions in both regional air taxi operations and the training regimens of the pilots under whose auspices such operations will be carried out. The CAE 700 XMR comprises a compact mini motion platform and 360 degree field of view visuals that deliver high fidelity, physics based simulation tailored to single pilot operations. The new simulator, in conjunction with comprehensive ground school training, will prepare eVTOL pilots to competently operate their machines in the complex urban environments likely to be the mainstay of the eVTOL air taxi industry. CAE's immersive, synthetic, out-the-window environment combined with a mixed-reality head-mounted display and real cockpit controls and instrumentation will enable pilots to take advantage of enhanced 3D perception and AI-based digital capabilities. 
Helicopter and CAE are working together on the development, deployment, and certification of a pilot training program to support the former's aspirations to provide UAM services at the 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Games in Paris, France. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.